Gentlemen, on this night before we depart for college, we say goodbye to our carefree high school years and each other. <laughs> Look, Gimpy, college isn't that big of a deal, right? I'm sure we'll still hang out. Nits, we're going to different schools. In the same city, Rocco. We'll be too busy to see each other. Rasadasli all the time, Ruby guy. Gentlemen, please raise your glasses. We four shall never meet again. At least until Christmas. To us. To the click. To, to the, the click. click. Now we shall watch my Malaysian bootleg DVD of The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> mm. I'm really gonna miss these guys. It was happy at the start. So, once you watch my bootleg download of Jedi. <sighs> Ewoks! <sighs> it's gonna be a long four years. Come on, Jesse. Chill, dude. It's only an ice cream cone. Correction. It's a Ben and Jerry's free ice cream cone, and they do this only one day a year. Is there something different about the quad? Hello. This weekend's the annual State Youth Spring Fling Carnival. Spring Fling? How come I've heard nothing about this? I don't know. You've been walking around blindfolded again? No, not since the incident. <laughs> You're going, right? I hear the fling's actually gonna be cool. Good Charlotte's coming to perform. Good Charlotte? What have they done that I might know? Hey! What about the ice cream? Uh, what in the what cream? Great. Let's talk to the ditzy redhead. <laughs> uh, Kimmy, I enjoy sucking and blowing as much as the next guy, but wouldn't this be easier with a pump? That's a fantastic idea, Mark! Take your shirt off. Hey, Nitz! Blah, hi, Kimmy. Hi. So, you guys psyched for the flight? I sure am. I've been looking forward to this thing for weeks. <laughs> I volunteered to organize the whole carnival and run some of the booze and sing with my acapella group, milk and goats, rip the tickets out the door and hand security and bring potato salad. It's just crazy. Maybe you should double your medication. I'll put that on my to-do list. Wow, Kimmy. Sounds like you've really got your hands full here. Oh, good. So you'll help. I need someone to run the popcorn booth. Sure, Kimmy. Whatever you need. Oh, good. Tomorrow, noon, nips. Popcorn booth. Jesse, what can I put you down for? Nothing. And then, when things looked their bleakest, I rolled two sixes and won the day. Incredible. But that is brilliant. Not a man, but a god. Please tell us, sir. In the many years you battled for world domination, how many glorious victories did you collect? Uh, well, uh, you see, every game I get so worked up that I kamikaze against Nitz, which resulted to my own demise. And technically, according to their stupid backward little rules, wiping out your own forces doesn't count as winning. Uh, no, sir. That counts as losing. Get him out of here. Uh, 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 uh. But that's all in the past, gentlemen. This time, I'll be triumphant over my enemies. Over Nitz with your help. It'd be an honor to serve under you, sir! Stupid alarm clock. Hey, wait. I don't have an alarm clock. Damn it! What the hell is all that racket? What the hell is everyone doing up so early? It's four in the afternoon, Rocco. Are you kidding me? I'm going back to bed. Hold, Brother Rocco. This weekend, Alpha Alpha is painting houses for the homeless. So get dressed and grab a paintbrush. <gasps> Let me just say that I am appalled at all of you. Doing community service goes against everything a fraternity stands for. In conclusion, eat me. Rocco, being in a fraternity is not just about booze and babes. Blasphemy! What now? Hey Rocco, wanna come over for a game of risk with the guys tonight? No friggin' way. I mean yes. Absolutely. friggin' lootly. Excellent. See you at the rendezvous point. My dorm room, 1800 hours. Over now. Sorry, Craigan. I'm booked up a little community service of my own. Oh, really? Doing what? Playing board games with a socially challenged. Alright, no, go Rocco! Making a difference. Sure, Rocco. 
I just need you to get this form signed to prove you actually did the service. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, ladies, get ready for a little cow juice. <laughs> Man! Hello, Suntan Ocean. Goodbye, Melanoma. Cal, baby, I just know we're gonna have a blast together at the fling. Hey, Cal's spending the weekend with me? Not likely, slut. Cal's mine. Pretty ladies, please. There's plenty of cow juice to go around. <laughs> Hello? Cal, come to my school. We're playing wrist tonight. Good idea, guy. Wrist means staying up on night. And staying up on night means slumber party. And slumber party means pajamas. Where'd Cal go? I don't know. Where's my top? Two for two. This is gonna be easier than I thought. And since Nis has no social life at college, what are the odds of him giving me a problem? Sorry, Gimp. I've already got plans to help Kimmy Burton at the fling this weekend. But Nitz, you've never missed a risk game in all the time we've known each other. We can't play without you. I can't play without you. Yay! Hey, guy, we're playing Risk. What pajamas are you going to wear, guy? Oh, this is going to kick ass. It'll be just like old times. I am a Risk board. Do you want to play me? I talk like this. <sighs> all right, fine, I'll play. Just as long as you promise me the game will be over by tomorrow morning. God, he drives me crazy. Mitz will just drop everything for that red-headed nut job and do every little favor she asks him. It's really pathetic. And he doesn't even get any of that red-headed Yo, her nut! <laughs> hey guys, Jesse, I'm a fair to ask you. What's up? I'm going to play with the guys, and I need to be back by noon tomorrow, and it's not that I don't trust Gimpy to let me leave, but I don't trust Gimpy. So as a backup plan, I need you to come rescue me from Tuckerson if I don't show up by tomorrow morning, okay? Yeah, sure. Cool, thanks. Don't you hate how Jesse always f***ing drops everything when it's just every little favor he asks? Raw, it's really pathetic! <laughs> Shut up, Dan. Alright, gentlemen. You know Nitz always tries to dis out of the game early, so it's our job to keep him here. Luckily, I have a plan. Okay, first we eliminate him, then after we eliminate him, Dude, why are you whispering? I don't know. Okay, let's get going here. I don't really care what color I am. Well, I gotta be Black Death. Fine, I'll be Red Death. It won't matter because I always win. What the hell are you talking about, Gimpy? You always kill yourself. I've won every game since seventh grade. No, you're both wrong. I usually kick all your sorry asses. I win too, guys. How do we play again? Mm, Cal, we go through this every time. Risk is a game of global domination. Launch stacks and defend your territories by rolling six-sided dice. Whoever has the highest dice roll wins. The loser loses an army. The second highest dice are matched up, and whoever has the second highest dice wins. The loser loses an army. Claim the territory and move your troops. Receive a card at the end of your turn. Bring a mass set of three for additional armies. I'm gonna be the banker, guys! Where do I put up my hotels? Hmm. Okay, uh, got it. Good choice in color, sir. We've analyzed 87,342 games of Risk, and the player who plays red wins 29.8% of the time. Excellent. The first battle has already been won. Now we sure I win the war. Affirmative, sir. Candy? Check. Front gate? Second shift on its way? Beer Ted. Only serves students with red wristbands. This cough syrup isn't strong enough for the morning. What's that? Time to take another birth control pill? Like you'll ever need to know. <laughs> it's time to rescue Nitz. This time to remember white out of his ass before you bum. That's weird. I think the wall clock has stopped. That is weird. <laughs> Come on, let's speed it up, Rocco. And stop hiding risk cards. Shut up, I'm thinking. Brilliant plan. Thank you, sir. It was Admiral Akbar's. I should have suspected. Only one who defeated the awesome firepower of the Death Stars could have. Gimpy, who are you talking to? Uh, to myself. I'm a paranoid schizophrenic. I'm happy for both of you. Now make your move. Nitz, what's the matter? Gotta be somewhere? You know I do. You all know I do. That's why you're stalling. 
Dude, every time you play Risk, you always got something else to do. Like that time in 8th grade. Come on, Gimpy, hurry up. I have to help Queen Burton run a bake sale. Wow, that was weird. Were you guys just thinking what I was thinking? Uh, I don't know. Were you thinking about Nitz's mom? Wow, yeah, it was, guy. That's amazing. You're the dog, my boy. Kimmy, good Charlotte arrived. They want to know where to set up their instruments. Uh, um... Yeah, we need help. Hook him, buddy. Go, Flo. Hey, you stop. Get back in line. Where's Cal? He was supposed to meet me here. Cal Juice, take me away! Where's my top? I don't own anything else. Rocco, you're the weakest man. I take you out and the victory will soon be mine. Then I can get the hell out of here. That's right, pick on the little guy. Let's go, punk! Damn it, I hate this game! Ugh. Uh, Rocco, why don't you hang and keep Nets company until the game is over? Yeah, sure. Can I fiddle around with their toys and comic books and crafts? They are not toys. They are collector's items. What about this teddy bear? That's Nuka. Hey, Nitz. Girl alert! Security has been breached! Jesse, what a surprise. Yeah, big surprise. Nitz, the president has been shot. And you are the only one in the world with his blood type. Oh my, I must lead right away. So, this is the big game, huh? How do you guys play this thing anyway? Launch attacks and defend your territories by rolling six-sided dice. Whoever has the highest dice roll wins. Loser loses an army. The second ice dice are matched up, and whoever has the second ice dice wins. The loser loses an army. Claim the territory and move your troops. Receive a card at the end of your turn. Trade a mass set of three for additional armies. Global domination. Cool. Um, Jesse? President? What? Dude, you control three continents. You have a risk set. You could totally win this thing. We can't leave now. Huh? <laughs> Will Cal Evans please report to Lost and Found for immediate sex? Cal Evans? Where should we set up to shoot the Good Charlotte concert? Kimmy, there you are. We're seeing the acapella tribute to Styx in two minutes. I'll be right there, Mark. And where is my bottle of water? I specifically request a glacier with a top. And why did Jennifer Love Hewitt leave me for that guy in LFO? <laughs> Dude, check this out! I'm Michael Jordan. Oh my god! Oh? Huh, <gasps> guys? I'm stuck! Nitz, your move! Okay, here's my move. Ah! Whoops! Oh no, I guess this means the game's over. Why'd you do that? You could've won. Don't worry, luckily my men have been monitoring the game. They'll be able to reconfigure the board. Mump, reveal yourself. <laughs> what the hell, Gimpy, you've been cheating. Come on, Jesse, let's go. Not until the game is over. Yeah, relax, Superman. I'm sure Kimmy is getting along just fine without you. <gasps> Guys? I can't breathe. Kimmy, time for your solo. Uh, oh my god! The popcorn booth is on fire! You can't make me play. You're right. We can't. Good. Glad that's settled. Good. And if you leave, I win by default. What? I control over half the world. Not if you leave. You forfeit your territories. And if you leave, then you're not here, guy. Nitz, just finish the game. You think Kimmy wants to date a wussy loser? Hmm. Come on, Cal. You and me will finish this game like men. We both know Nitz was never going to win anyway. Don't panic! Everything's under control! I have everything under ah! 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 Although authorities fear the Hugh Spring Fling could turn into another Woodstock 99, this on air person would like to thank today's you. Uh. Hey, there were batteries in that mud! This is a message to Cal Evans' kidnappers. We know you're out there and we know you're listening. We beg you. 
please don't hurt him. We'll pay any amount of money. We just want our little cow back. And my bikini top. All right, I'll give you a game. And this time, it's personal. Heh, <laughs> just for... <laughs> That's great, guy! Let's get it on, bitch! I'm attacking you in... Um... In Chinatown! I don't have any armies in China, Cal. You're in China. Oh, then I'm attacking myself in Chinatown. Dude, the only person in this game that Cal is a threat to ah. is himself. Mm. The sooner he's out of the game, the sooner you and the Gimp can duke it out. Cal is expendable, sir. We suggest forming an alliance with Nitz to wipe him out. An alliance with the enemy? You know what they say, sir. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. What movie is that from? Uh... Um, eh, just tell him it's Star Wars. Star Wars. Excellent. Hey, what are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> it's all my fault. I ruined the thing. I let everyone down. At least I can hide back here. There's nothing more you can do, Gimpy. Just fortify already. I'm going, I'm going. Oh. Hey, Gimp. I think I just accidentally deleted your hard drive. That's it, Rocco. Don't touch another thing in this room. Sorry. Jeez. Uh-oh. Uh you don't have any options here. Looks like you're gonna have to attack Gimpy and Greenland for a risk card. That would mean breaking our alliance. Okay. Gimpy, I'm attacking you in Greenland. What? What about our alliance? We were gonna have to break it sooner or later. But not until after we wiped out Cal. Wiped out who? This is so like you nits, backstabber. First you were gonna sell me out for Kimmy Burton. Now you're gonna sell me out to Lady Macbeth. Excuse me if I want to spend time with Kimmy. I've only had a crush on her for four years. Yeah, four years too many. Excuse me? It's true. You completely ignore everyone else. Well, I, I don't want anyone else. Your friends included. You never want to hang out with us anymore. It's always like this big chore for you. Sorry if it's not fun for me to sit around bickering and arguing with you guys all weekend. Maybe I'm tired of it. Well, maybe I'm tired of feeling like the odd man out all the time. It's the same way at my frat. That's because you alienate everybody, Rocco. Maybe if you spent less time drinking and smashing stuff. I drink and I smash because I love. Well, it's annoying. No, it's annoying when your friends guilt you into doing things with them. No, it's annoying when someone you care about always puts you second. No, it's annoying when bugs fly in your nose, and then when you blow your nose, you have bugs in your boogers. Gippy, just roll the damn dice. Fine, you know what? I want you to attack me. Roll! Six beats four. Get the hell out of my country. Yeah! That does it! You're too headstrong, young Gimpy. I thought you'd be used to losing by now. Sir, take it easy. You wouldn't want to. Kamikaze! <laughs> That's it. If I could just have your attention for a moment. I wanted to apologize for... Oh, for... Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo! Kamikaze! Kamikaze! Die, Nitz! Die! Kama Kamikaze! Got you! Ah! You idiot. You're killing yourself, too. We'll both be spread out so thin that the only person left who could possibly win would be... I am the greatest! I am the risk champ! Hooray for everything! Cow's a lie! Get me the hell out of here. Take me back to my simple beat that celebrity life in Times Square. Oh, Carson. 
Goodbye. You want to play again next weekend, guys? Yes. yes. Doesn't look like we miss much. Yeah. I lost that contact lens. Hi, Kimmy. I'm so sorry I didn't- Oh my god, Nitz! Can you believe how incredible everything turned out? Sorry I didn't get a chance to see you. Did you have a good time at the flight? Uh, I had a great time. Hey! Hey, Nitz! Look, guy! I'm famous! Like those guys on the weenie boxes! Is there really you? Somebody pitch me his cow! Oh my god! Thank god! Yeah, we didn't miss a thing. <laughs>